Hello coders, I hope you are coding well. In the previous video, we created a new schema and then we wrote the MySQL configurations in our Spring Boot application and we tested our database connection. And in today's video, we will create user role enum and after this, we will create user entity and user repository classes. So let's get started. So in our Spring Boot application, first of all, we need to create a package for the user role enum. And to do this, we will right click on our attendance server package and we will choose a new package and we will name this package as enums. And after this, we will right click on this enums package and we will choose a new Java class and we will name this class as user role. And after this, for the type, we will select enum. And after this, we need to write the enum values. And as you know, we will have three roles in our application. And first role will be admin. And second role will be manager. And at the end, we will have a role of employee. And with this, our user role enum is completed. Now we need to create user entity. And to do this, we will right click on our attendance server package and we will choose a new package and we will name this package as entities. And after this, we will right click on our entities package and we will choose a new Java class and we will name this class as user. And after this, on this user class, we will mention the entity annotation and we will import it from jakarta.persistence and after this annotation to get the getters and setters we will annotate this class with data annotation from lombok and after this we need to mention the properties of this user class and first of all we will store the id of the user so we will write private and the data type of this will be long and we will name this as id and after this to make it a primary key we will annotate this with at the rate id annotation and after this annotation we need to give the logic for the automatic generation of this id and to do this we will add the annotation of generated value and in this for the strategy we will set this as generation type dot identity and by doing this this will automatically increment id one by one and after the id we need to store the email of the user and to do this we will write private and the data type of this will be string and we will name this as email and after the email we need to store the password and to do this we will write private and the data type of this will be string as well and we will name this as password and after the password we need to store the name and to do this we will write private and the data type of this will be string and we will name this as name and after the name we need to store the user role and to do this we will write private and the data type of this will be user role and we will import it from our enums package and we will name this as user role and with this our user entity is completed now we need to create user repository and to do this we will right click on our attendance server package and we will choose a new package and we will name this package as repository and after this we will right click on our repository package and we will choose a new java class and we will name this class as user repository and after this for the type we will select interface and after this we will annotate this with at the rate repository annotation and we will import it from spring framework dot stereotype and after this we need to extend this repository from the jpa repository so we can get the basic methods and to do this we will write extends and after this we will write jpa repository and in this we need to give the entity and the data type of the primary key and for the entity we will give this as user and we will import it from entities package and after this for the data type of the primary key we will give this as long and with this our user repository is completed as well and now let's run our application and as you can see our application is up on port 8080 without any errors and in the logs we can see the create user table query got executed and now let's go to mysql workbench to verify this update 
and in the mysql workbench we will open attendance underscore tracker schema and after this we will open tables drop down and as you can see we got one table with the name of user and now let's open the data of this table and as you can see for now we don't have any data but we can confirm the columns of this table and that's it for today's video in the next video we will create auth service and after this we will write the code to automatically create admin account in our spring boot application